I'm excited to tell you about my new project, which I'm starting today, and it's a documentary. It's about a neighborhood in North Philly called Kensington. It's no different than a third world country. There needs to be a delicate balance to where people can coexist. I should mention that this project is directed by Teresa Palmer, who you might know from movies like Warm Bodies, Lights Out, just recently in the Sundance premiere of Berlin Syndrome. Did you lock me in? And in the now multi Oscar nominated feature Hacksaw Ridge. I fell in love with you because you weren't like anyone else. So, episode one is all about going to just get a feel for the project. That means bringing it into the system and starting some preliminary selecting. And these are all the different shoots that they did. And I want to import each one, all the footage. If you're using Final Cut 10, you probably know what this means. If you don't, it's irrelevant. If you're interested in the detailed workflow, how I'm media managing, I'm gonna leave an email in the video description and you can email me and I will send you a worksheet in regards to that. So I've done a couple of documentaries, I think four or five. I came to my first convention and I just fell in love with the people. Everybody is like me, talk to themselves and play with dolls for a living. <laughs> but I'm not really a documentary editor. So I don't really have all the answers when it comes to what's the best way to tackle a documentary. I grew up on the northwest side of Detroit. But I can certainly talk about what I'm doing. First of all, the big challenge with a documentary is the vast amount of footage. This was the Titanic. It lies in its grave at the bottom of the North Atlantic. So as you're going through the footage, you have to keep in mind that you're really selecting for the big picture. Themes and characters and storylines as opposed to individual scenes. Very rarely is the way that you shot the documentary the way that you're going to tell the story. This is all of them just planning. When we're coming into this neighborhood, the people who are homeless, who have no money, who are collecting food stamps, and we're like, hey, like, what's the worst thing that's happened in your life? Tell us about your story, like, what's going on? And it feels really hypocritical. I know very little about the project. I only met Teresa and Kai a few times. So in the first few episodes, it's really up to me as the editor to find a story and pitch it back to them. Like why? almost yeah. enough for me to be like, I don't even feel like we're the right people to make this Slash. movie. But All right, so she's touching upon this as well, that there's a certain challenge with this documentary. I'm just gonna favorite that for now. And I'm gonna give it a theme. Let's talk about Teresa. She is from Australia originally, and she's been in Los Angeles for a few years now and has made a name for herself. She's really a celebrity. And cutting documentaries that have a celebrity sort of as the centerpiece, as being the narrator, present a challenge in its own. How are you going to present that narrator? So, guns. What about guns? I worked with Joseph Gordon-Levitt on Hit Record, and as the host of that show, he would not say what his opinion is on something. He would just let people voice their opinion. Gun ownership in my life has made my world a safer place. My brother was murdered three years ago. And you can see right there, just from what those two people said, why this is definitely the most controversial topic that we're doing this season. That he just was sort of the connecting element. Now we could go that same route here and try to have Teresa not take a stand. But I have a feeling it wouldn't serve as well here. Like she's kind of fish out of water here. She's not from that neighborhood. She's not even from this country. She's not facing the same social hurdles. I mean, it was hard for her to come here and to make a name for herself and she had her own challenges, so she worked hard, but she's now privileged. Part of my job is to tell that story in a way that it feels authentic, true to her, and not offensive for the wrong reasons. I mean, you can be offensive in a documentary, and you should be, if that's what you need to do to drive the story home. But I wanna move on to another shoot. I just wanna get into it. 
doesn't mean that I'm going to start cutting right away, but I just want to be in the world first. Just get a feel for what it's like to be out there. All right, so why don't we start with this one right here? Now this part here, I know I'm not going to use. So to break things up, I'm going to already reject this. And feel free to check out a video where I talk about all the selecting process that I do in Final Cut. But I'm basically deleting this part of the shot. It now makes all the stuff before it one shot and everything after the rejection a new shot. If I show all clips, it's still there, you can see. This is what I rejected. It's red. I hide it. It goes away. In this way, I'll start breaking these shots up. And that'll help me later when I'm cutting to look at them as individual shots. There's some movement here. All right. This is a shot. Okay, this is a new shot right here. And I actually like this. Not quite in focus. So I'm gonna be very selective here. I'm not gonna be favoriting a whole lot in this first path. Just wanna get a feel. I wanna throw some stuff away. This is kind of cool. I don't know what that is. And we're done. Kind of nice, I'm gonna favorite that part. Out of focus. Could be interesting. This is hilarious. So his girlfriend is pissed at him and won't let him in the house. So he can't really film with us. Feels until like they're on a stakeout. She lets him in the house. We are freestyling, but I love it. Freestyle. I love it. I love it. I ain't get my hair cut yet. <laughs> we gotta film another day when I got my, my you know. Your fancy glasses yeah, on. Yeah, right, right, right. How you know? <laughs> so I know that this character, his name is Anton. He's like an aspiring musician. And there could be more to him, I'm not sure. Anton, and she says... Yeah. Are you younger or older, brother? Hey, he's older. I'm the older one. He's the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. If you want to get Philly, you want to get landmarks, you want to get murals, and you want to talk to the people, you want to embrace the culture. This is interesting. And you want to talk to the people, you want to embrace the culture, because it's, it's, it's never been put in a proper perspective on a big screen as far as, you know, the mentality and what comes out of our city. You know? Okay, so this is our first soundbite. So I'm going to give it that keyword soundbite. Boom. And instead of this view now, I'm gonna switch over to this view. And then here where we have that soundbite, I can actually make a note. Anton about Philly. So now I can fairly quickly reference that back. Next shot. Yeah, that's what we're really interested about. Like, how, where does the reform come in? How do we make change? Okay, so we want to get some of the gritty, grimy stuff. Do we want to set it up like this? Yeah. Get a couple key locations. Right. Get a couple key locations and a couple key spots. And here's what else we're looking for. Tell me exactly what you're looking for, because I'm on your guys' time. Okay, great. And I'll give you everything you need, you know what I mean? Oh, that's so dope. Okay, so... Again, this entire thing is Anton. And I'm also going to describe the location in car. Boy, one of the, like, <laughs> a, a drug dealer who is reformed, who, like, you. made change, who got out of it. 
I don't know if you have any. Hello, officer. So I know in this shot we have Teresa in here. We have, I don't know his name. So unfortunately, I'm just going to call him Cop. And then the location, I'm just going to say Street. And right here, she's meeting him. So kind of an important moment. I know that they met this guy when they were driving around with that camera on their hood, sort of getting themselves a little bit into trouble. He picked them up and said, you're crazy for doing this. Don't be driving around here with a camera and people will see you. And then they sort of befriended each other and they decided, okay, it's okay for for Teresa to just tag along as he's going through his day. So part of the story is definitely going to be how this guy experiences the inner city, what he's facing, and hopefully that will give us also some balance. I consider documentary to be one of the highest art forms in film. It's super creative. You have a lot of freedom. You have to really think out of the box, non-linear. You, you can move things around to shape a story. At the same time, I get to learn. It's kind of like a window into another world. I get to see how other people live and how they do things. The proportion of how the money is being spent. Today's episode was all about selecting. Next episode is all about cutting. So stick around. That's my next shot. If you did enjoy this episode, and you're inclined to subscribe, by all means, do it.